Hi friends, welcome back to Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Devin and I homeschool for kids ages 10 to 14. Today's video topic is Amazon favorites and since this is a homeschooling channel, I thought I would share with you my 10 favorite items that you can purchase on Amazon that we use in our homeschool almost daily. Today's video is a collaboration hosted by myself and Shauna from Homegrown Homeschool. A bunch of other moms will be joining us in this collaboration. I will link in the playlist below a link to the playlist, so be sure to check them out when you're done watching this video. Okay, so today's video is in no particular order. I'm just going to show you some of my favorite things that I've purchased on Amazon for my homeschool that I use almost daily. I will save one of my favorite things for the end, so stick around to hear what that is. All right, so the first thing I have here is something I purchased by the box. I believe I get six, six at a time, and those are these timers. These timers we use daily in our school. Each of my kids has their own color. It comes in several colors when you purchase a box. And we time all sorts of things. We time how long they're reading. We time how long they're on their computer. We time, there's just different amounts of time that we use throughout the day for different topics. So these are super helpful. They come in like orange, pink, white, and blue. And so each of my kids can have their own color. Maybe they come in, no, this is six pack, but I've purchased a lot of these throughout the years, not because they are bad quality and I have to keep purchasing them. My kids do lose them and drop them and things like that. So they generally don't break on their own, but my kids can make it happen. So I do purchase these by the box full and we have been using them pretty much since we started homeschooling. So I really recommend timers. If you're tired of having to set a timer for everything, each kid can have their own. All right, the next thing that we just added to our homeschool this year, and I have used it all the time, so thankful that, I can't remember her name, but she's from Rolling with the Ru Rouses. I will link her channel below, but she recommended this CD player, and I love it. It is so compact. You just open it like that. You can put the CD inside, and you can play it, and it has speakers, pretty good sound. We do singing, we do songs for our verses. We're doing song, American songs this year. We do songs for our Chinese lessons. So this is super useful. I love that I don't have to plug in the DVD player into my computer to play music. So, so nice, so compact. Really like this little CD player. All right, next is a storage item. I really like these baskets. These come in a set of three, one bigger, so this would just fit into it, and one smaller. And I put all my library books or thematic books, books about topics that we are currently learning in three of these bins in front of my fireplace. I don't have a ton of shelving around, so this is a great temporary place to put things like library books that are going to go back and just keeps things out in the open so my kids are more likely to pick them up and read the books on the themes that we're currently learning. So I really love these. I probably have three sets of these, so like nine of these around my house, not only for homeschooling, but also for organizing things like mittens and gloves and all sorts of things. So really love these bins. I have bought them several times. On the subject of organizing, here are my favorite bins for storing curriculum. These are the Sterilite bins. There are two sizes that I really love. I have this smaller size here, and then I have the bigger one here. And this is great for storing future curriculum where I'm trying to collect books and I can just throw all the books that I get for that subject into a bin or just in organizing my curriculum before I'm ready to use it. So I really love these bins. I have a lot of them available to help me organize my homeschool stuff. So Sterilite bins. Um, I will link in the description box below their size and things like that. I couldn't tell you what size these are, but I find they're really great sizes for most items. Most items will fit in these bins. Next, I buy pocket, the pocket folders files in boxes like this. 
They come with six different colors, two of each. So I usually get two of these per year or as needed. So a box like this, and it comes with all of these. So I like to have four of each color. So then whenever we're doing something, let's say we're doing Chinese and we're starting a new, a new year or something. So my kids might need all to get purple for Chinese or something like that. And then they write Chinese on there and they put all of the loose papers and things in there. Usually this is for morning basket type stuff that we're learning together. So we've had geography, we have songs, we have Chinese. So we use it for those sorts of things, things that we keep in the living room. And it's not like they're independent work, but it's just stuff we work on together. So I really love these. These are Amazon basic pocket, pocket folders. So next I have, this is a very simple thing, something that you might want to have in your homeschool. If you like to use binders, use it a lot, just a three hole punch. So just a boss stitch, boss stitch, three hole punch. It's worked really well for years. Very simple, something that I need in my homeschool because we do put a lot of things into binders. So along with that, I have these lap whiteboards. I really love these for different things around the house. If we're doing some math problems, I can just pull this out. If I need to write like a menu of lunch items, I can pull that out and use that. So we have these lying around. If I need my kids to do copy work, we're doing a subject together and we're at the table and I need them to copy something, I can write it here. So I bought a six pack of these and these have lasted for quite a while and they're great. You can use them and then erase them. I have them all over the place so I can just pick one up when I need one. Now I'm going to take you to the other things that I really love to use in my homeschool. So let me take you with me to show you. All right, here it is. Here is one of my favorite things. Sorry about the glare. It is my stand up whiteboard. And I love that it's mobile. It's just big enough for me to write our daily routine, a verse, and then I have a little room on the bottom to write anything else I might need my kids to copy out. It's on a tripod so I can move it around. All right, so forgive the mess. Very messy around here, first of all. As you can see, here is how when I, I use those whiteboards there. And I did not mention my pencil sharpener because it is not my favorite. It is okay, but it is not my favorite. It's not working great. But this, this thing here, the Epson ET2760, it is not the most expensive one. What I can't do is put a bunch of papers in and have them all copy. But what I can do is print off thousands and thousands of pages, colored or not. So here's my ink levels. This is probably my second fill since we first started homeschooling. And that was over two years ago. So second fill, I have full ink. The ink only costs maybe $50. So $50 a year or less. And I do a lot of PDF. I do a lot of print offs. I do a lot, I can do color. I don't have to worry about color. And I did do a lot of like gather yeah, round stuff my first year. So that was quite a bit of ink. So I love this printer. So, so to go along with the thing that I'm going to show you last, I use my laminator. It's just a simple Scotch laminator. It's not expensive. Probably any laminator would do, but I really like this. I've had this since we first started homeschooling and I will show you some things that I've done with the laminator. I usually do cover pages for the workbooks that I make for my kids. So great, great to have a laminator if you like to purchase PDF sort of stuff and create workbooks for your kids. All right, so I saved the best for last. My favorite thing to use that I purchased on Amazon for my homeschool is the ProClip, the ProClick binding system. I love this. I love to buy PDFs and print things off and create booklets. So here are, here's like one booklet I created and it has the pro click thing. So it click, so you can see it's kind of like a coil type binding. That's what this does. And then you buy these, you buy these spines. There's different sizes. So this is the bigger one. So if you have a bigger one and then there's a, there's smaller ones too. My kids have tons of little booklets that I've created for them. I use my laminator to laminate the first sheet. And then it's just super, super easy to put things in. You can fold it over like a core, you know, you can fold it flat. 
I love that you can reuse the spines. So these spines can come off and you can reuse them. So if I'm finished with this, I can throw away the inside part and use the spine again for something else. So I really love my ProClick. I use it every year when I'm planning units. It's great. If you do something like unit studies or you just like to buy a lot of PDF curriculum, it's a great binding system. And it's so compact and small. It's so easy. It doesn't get in the way. I love it. So those were my 10 things that I use in my homeschool all the time, my Amazon favorites for homeschool. Thank you so much for coming today. If you want to check any of these things out, do click on the description box below and you can see links to all of these items if you want to look into them further. Thanks for coming and don't forget to check out the playlist also linked below of all the other moms and their favorite Amazon items. And I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.